a presentation without a voice is not impactful, isn't it? If you are explaining something, voice is really important and content creators really know it well. But sometimes we might not have the proper recording conditions like traveling. What if I tell you that I have created an open source lightweight application just for that. You can generate different voices in different languages just by typing it and this works offline too. Let me show you a demo and the app download link will be in the description. To get the app, you can go to my github handle, obviously the link will be in the description as said. Go to text to speech offline and then we can scroll down entirely bottom, we can click on releases, then here is the apk file at the top and I have already installed this application. Let me open that and this is the application and let me turn off my internet and just to demonstrate that it works offline too. On android phone, it is natively using the android text to speech. At the top, you'll see a drop down button is there and you'll see there are hundreds of languages. And let's start with English maybe. And the format looks like something like this. Start with two letters which is AR for example, this is Arabic and for example, this is BN for Bengali, IN for India, then whatever voice name is there. And the local means you do not need an internet and whatever model you'll see that network is there, it requires an internet connection. So let me change it to English. So let me take English India language and simply I can type anything. Welcome to Das Learning, click on send and here it is. And I can directly play this over here. Welcome to Das Learning. And let's generate something else. This is really cool. Here you go. Maybe let's try some other language. Maybe Hindi. So for that I'll scroll down to HI for Hindi. Let's take Hindi India language. This one. HIIN. And let me grab a Hindi text maybe. So let's paste this. Mere YouTube channel par apka swagat hai, something like this. Click on send. And let's play this. Mere YouTube channel par apka swagat hai. Here you go. Let me also generate a Bengali language, which is my native. Let's scroll up to Bengali and I'm taking BN Indian language. Let me change my keyboard. And that is generated. Let's play it. And that's basically it. And if you want to know where it is saved, by default this download button doesn't work on Android. I'm working on it. So you can go to your file explorer, then your phone memory. Go to Android folder, go into data and scroll down to IN. My app is in.daslearning.tts this one. So click on this, go into files, click on generate it and here are your web files or the audio files. You can directly play this it over really here. Cool. Mere YouTube channel par aapka swagat hai. And you can copy anywhere and you can use it in any video. This is really cool, right? You can generate voice in different languages and without internet. And in next releases, I'll put some settings like speech settings and other settings and maybe in future a speech to text also. And if you want to run in Python, let me show you that in my desktop. And if you want to run this on desktop, maybe on Linux or Windows, just go to my GitHub repository, clone it and simply you can use Python. In the readme, you'll get all those details. So I have already cloned that locally. What I'll do, I'll open my terminal, go to Kiwi folder and you'll see, and you'll see you need to download the voice files from Hugging Face. Click on this Hugging Face and you'll see many languages are there. For example, if I want to take English, I can go into English and there is English, British and US, maybe US for now. Any voice, for example, John, click on that and there might be high or medium or low voice qualities. Click on medium. You need to download this both files .onx and this onx.json. Download both the files. You need to place this in the models folder, which I've already done. So I've basically downloaded two models. One is Joe, another is Lesac. I've downloaded those models and placed into this models folder inside KV. I'll enable my virtual environment. If I can type it right. Now it is activated. 
I've already installed all the requirements. So you can use these requirements. You can use pip to install it. Simply run python main.py. And here is our app. As I have only two models, so it is in the drop down. You can choose whatever you have installed and simply type in. Maybe thanks for watching this long, something like that. Click on send, and here you go. Let me play it. Thanks for watching this long. Maybe another text. I've changed the voice. So maybe I'll try to add more features in the future. I'll try to add more features in the future. And that is basically it. And this is completely open source without any ad. And it is cross platform. You can run it almost anywhere. Thanks for watching this video. See you in some next amazing topics.